PG Tabotting, and welcome to Redonda. This is the ninth in our Modern Indies Basic series, and today we're going to be looking at Redonda, some of the connections you can make with it, and some of the ways you can mix it up to make it more challenging. So as a reminder, Redonda is just essentially stick twirling, um, but we're going to be, if you start it like a Cinewally, right, and you're going to have it this closed, one-sided guard, you're going to go one side, two side, three side, and then you switch sides. So all three strikes on one side are two the uh, opposite side. And you'll notice that when we do this, we're going to go across the body. That gets our waist twist into it. So it's one, two, three. And then we go to the other side and we twist our waist again. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. And those are down because normally we're holding the sticks like this. Um, but anyway, you can see that it's a stick spin, stick spin, stick spin, stick spin. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. That's a, the normal redonda, that's the one that's done middle or high. Um, you can do a low one, but we're gonna start with the bottom stick. So we go one, two, three, and then back the other way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the low one is one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's still a stick spin, but it's horizontal, and it's going across the low line, as opposed to this one where it's more vertical, and it's going to the higher, or all the way through to the middle line. Um, you can certainly do things horizontal, so you can even do this upper one horizontal. So it's one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. That would be the corresponding one for the low one. So we have the normal, downwards, 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 downwards. Okay, we have the low, across, 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 across. Okay, and then we have the high version of that same thing. Across, 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 across. So those are three standard ones. Um, you'll notice that it looks a lot like spinning a staff. So uh, you can also do that to get a feel for it. And you'll see how the, you want to let the stick do the work for you. So one of the things that people do is they try to force it, force it, force it, force it, force it, force it, as opposed to let the stick go and be loose in your wrist, even though you have a good grip. So it's a spin, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Beaver here, right? So it's a spin as opposed to force, 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 force. So don't do that. Let the stick do the work for you, okay? The stick will do the work for you, okay? So that's just some background, and we're now we're gonna look at some of the connections that you can make with it. All right, first uh, connection I wanna make is linking uh, Redonda with Sinawali. So a lot of times when Professor Prices would have us warming up in a camp or a seminar, he would say start with single Sinawali, uh, double Sinawali. Uh, and early on in that progress, he'd say, okay, pair up, do Redonda. And so some people would pair up and they would do Redonda against the paired sticks, like we're going to do in a little bit when we work through the details. And some people would work and they would do Heaven Sinawali, okay? So that actually is not Redonda, right? That is Heaven Sinawali because we're not going the same side. Because remember I just showed you that, s that Redonda is all on the same side. All the hits are on the same side with the same angle. Whereas Heaven Six is across, right? Heaven Six, Heaven Sinawali, High Six. It changes side in the middle of the thing. So if I use this guy here and I do Heaven Six so you can see, I get the left temple, left temple, right temple. So I've switched it up before I even go to the other side. Then I do the right temple, right temple, and then I switch it up again. So that's different than redonda because if I do redonda, I'm gonna do this. Left temple, left temple, left temple. Right temple, right temple, right temple. Left, 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 right, right, right. Left, 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 right, right, right. And to make it easier to see, I'm gonna to switch to the pattern sticks. Uh, that will also keep it from getting too loud. So red will be right hand, blue will be left hand. So again, um, doing making Sinawali out of Redonda, I'm going to have to hit the same side each time until I repeat the other side. So if I'm doing the right side, I'm going to hit, if I'm doing my right hand lead, I'm going to hit the left temple three times. And then I'm going to hit the right temple three times. Left, 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 right, right, right. Left, 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 right, right, right. Left, 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 right, right, right. And then you notice that when you're doing that, you can do it two ways. So one is looks just like the spin, okay, at the wrist, and then one looks like 
I can go round my head like Pearl Pearl. And both of those are fine. In fact, I prefer, for traditional sake, I like the Pearl Pearl. But for speed sake, and sometimes uh, to leave up some other options so I'm not all exposed or behind myself, um, the other is nice too. So, showing those real fast. Left, all the way around my body when I do the next left, and then left. And then I switch again. Right, all the way around my body, right, as I hit, and that way. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so just to be aware, that, that first connection we're talking about, making redonda as a Cinewale. Um, you can even do this low as a Cinewale as well. So if I'm paired up with a partner and I do this low spin, I can hit those against each other. So I go one, two, three, 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 right? Okay. So you can make all of these uh, into Cinewale. So what I wanted to do was make that first link to show you how you can do Redonda as a Cinewale. Redonda, how it's different than having six, but is very similar to one of the Cinewale. In fact, it is one of the Cinewales I have my folks do, which is I call Earth Six, because it's that low Redonda. That's different than low six, which is over the second hand, or reverse Cinewale, which is under the second hand. So we have a bunch of options um, for our Cinewales, but the Redonda, Redonda one, the key to making it a, a pure classic Redonda is that it's always hitting the same target from the same angle. Same target, same angle for, the, for that section, for that half of the motion, okay? All right, so next I'm gonna move over to the area where we have an imitation of someone holding the sticks like this so I can show you some of the things we're gonna do to, to change up Redonda. Uh, make it a little more challenging and more interesting, break it up, and give you a few more options. All right, hopefully you can see this device. I basically have a bracket holding two canes uh, strapped down with some bungee cords to hold the canes for me in this manner that we said before, that we you normally practice redonda. So if we go ahead and use this, uh, remember our normal redonda is just one, two, three, turn the waist, one, two, three, turn the waist, down, 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 and again, you have the modification where you can go full parol parol around the head, okay? Around the head down, around the head down, around the head down. It's not really much of a modification, just sort of changes the character. First modification I want to do is link it back to the Cinewales. If you change the target, you can get to back being doing Cinewales. So we can change this Redonda back to um, Heaven 6 if we just go 1, 2 across, one, two, cross, one, two, cross. So that's an obvious. And we can do that for every target. We can actually change the first one. Instead of going across here to this other side, I can start on this side and then go to the, the stick that I wanted to go in the first place. So again, remember with Redonda, I'm hitting the cross I'm across the body to get those sticks three hits. Across the body to get that stick three hits. If I change it up on the first count, I can hit the near stick, okay, near stick bounce, far stick, down, okay, and then I can go near stick, far stick, down, okay, near stick, far stick, down, okay, near stick, far stick, down, and then the thing that that teaches you is to get your stick out of the way, because I could have done it, if I go near stick and I keep that down, it's harder to do this guy. And you can do that if you want to do loading, right? If I keep this here and I go here and I load, then that sets that up, right? So showing the other side, if I go this here and I get this caught underneath my arm on purpose because I don't have a sword, um, then I load and I do that strike. Okay, so back to Redonda modification. So I can change the target for the simple way, just, in, just picking which stick I'm going to use. Okay, the classic is the same stick down. We got that. So I have already done one where I go other stick, same stick, same stick, right? Other stick, same stick, same stick, okay? That's different. Um, you can do the middle one, right? So I can go other stick, other stick, now back to the original stick, right? Other stick, other stick, now back to the original stick. So those are some options. Just change the stick that you're aiming at. Another option is now that once you've changed the stick you're aiming at, you can then pop back. So I call those, so the first option is, 
targeting, right? I'm just going to change the target, whether it's this stick or this stick, and whether this stick or this stick, or whether it's this stick and this stick, right? So three counts, and we're just keeping three counts right now. If I add a pop to that, I can do a few things. I could actually go one, two, three, and add a, add a pop at the end. And then I'm back to the stick that I'm going to tell myself to do. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three, pop. One, two, three, pop. One, two, so it's four count. So I added a pop at the very end, okay? You can add a pop at the beginning, right? So remember when I said I changed the target? I can change the target to the first one and then get back on track to the normal redonda, right? So I can go first one and then back on track to redonda. First, first one, back on track to redonda, okay? First one, back on track to redonda. First one, back on track to redundant. So that's one simple popover. I like to sometimes do it a little more in a different rhythm. So I could go one, two, three, four, right? So now what I've done, I've done the first hit the same, and then I go back to the other one, and then I go down, okay? So what did I do? I went the original stick, then back across, and then back to the original stick that I was supposed to be aiming at. Original stick, back across, original stick that I was aiming at, okay? So you can see the progression there. I'm going to just pop over, add a single pop over anywhere in there. One of my favorite is this one. One, two, across, back. So what I've done is I've gone, I've made, a, it's almost like I made a mistake. So I went here and I went, I'm going to do, oh, I did heaven six. Okay, let's get back on track. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to do heaven six. Oh, get back on track. So it's one, two, over, back. 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 So you can see the flow goes with that one pretty well. So that's one of my favorite ones. So try doing the initial wrong and pop back, or do the initial right and pop across. So those are some pops you can do. So first option, change the target. Second option, I'm going to do an extra strike at the other stick. Now we also have a couple other options. If I want to, this you'll notice this low stick is, is ready to do a few things. I'm actually making it go high. But what happens if I make it go underneath with a slash? So if I do, now it's not redonda, but like I said, it's a change up of redonda. So I can go, redonda will be down, down, down on the same stick, right? Down, down, down on the same stick. What if I go on the second hit, I go up, okay? So I go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So I'm hitting the same stick like I'm supposed to, but I'm changing the second count to upwards, okay? So down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So play with that, that's all fun. And you can find out that you can do some of the other ones with an upward slash. So you'll notice when I did that, this is more like a slash. We can also do rips. So let's combine things so I can show you the rip in, a, in, a, in, a, in one of the more simple ways. So if I go down, down, and I switch to the other stick and go through the other stick, and rip up that stick, okay? So that's one, two, across, up, okay? One, two, across, up. One, two, cross, up. One, two, cross, up. That was basically adding one extra step, but now, instead of popping back over the top, I'm, I'm going through and coming underneath with a rip or a sunkeet. You have a lot of variations you can do with that. So I can actually go one, two, over, over, over. So I've now got three hits with the same stick. One, two, three, like normal. And then I pop and back up. Okay. Another thing you can do with the rips is to go through them and rip on the same stick. So if I'm going here and I do that very first one, right? I go down, I can still go up, and then down, down, right? Down, up down, down, 
down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. And it would just be a fast rip. It would just be down all the way through and up right away. You can also rip up from the very beginning. I could go rip and down, down. Okay. So I go rip, down, down. Rip, down, down. All on the same stick. So you get the idea. So what do I have? I've, I've done three types of modifications, and you can combine, mix and match together uh, based on your normal pattern of one, two, three, one, two, three. So the first one is change target. The second one is pop, and usually it's a pop over of some kind. The third one is rip, and another one is the, the slash upwards. That said, so if I go and I do this, this, what happens if I want to keep going with this guy, slash up that side, and then go down? Would that fit in my pattern? Sure, because I already talked about slashes upwards. I talked about changing targets. Okay, what if I wanted to combine everything? So now I'm going to do here, 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 pop, slash, go down. I can do several things like that. One, two, pop over, slash, slash, rip, and then do the other side. So now I've done hits down, I've done pops over, I've done slashes, and I've done rips. So in this one I did a slash, and then I did a rip. You can mix it all up. I would recommend that you try to not do everything with one stick. So in other words, if I, if I do one or two change-ups on this stick, I better start doing one or two change-ups on this stick so they don't get too... Uh, single single side con you know this guy's just resting all right so that's some connections again what are the four the four are change targets popovers slashes up rips up okay and you can build a little apparatus like this pretty easily I took some metal plates and screwed them into two extra sticks I had I had too many sticks uh, and I had another stick to make sure I have a slight angle coming up on this uh, anyway just some fun with redonda hope you enjoyed and we'll catch you later